Just because your camera gives you the capability of shooting in log doesn't mean that it's the best choice for every situation. Log is a flat picture profile that is designed in order to retain the maximum amount of dynamic range in your footage, which means that at the end of the day, you get as much information back as you possibly can. Think of it as a blank canvas that you can use in order for you to allow your creative juices to flow. Using Log, you have the flexibility to capture more detail in both the shadows and the highlights of the footage. This means your video will have a more of a cinematic look with rich colors and rich depth. I understand cinematic is a bit overkill, but it gives you the capability of adjusting the content, adjusting the footage in exactly the way that you want it to. Greater post-production control. With the increased dynamic range, you can fine tune the colors, the contrast, the saturation, achieve the exact mood, the tone, a look and feel for your specific video projects. Whether you're a seasoned filmmaker or just starting out, incorporating log into your workflow can definitely elevate the quality of the visual impact of your videos. Now, there's a couple of pros and there's a couple of cons to using log. Shooting in log has its perks. It gives you, like I mentioned, it gives you the flexibility in post-production. You can push the highlights, pull up the shadows, create a cinematic look, perfect for color grading, and if you want to get full control of your footage, then shooting in log will be the way to go. Now there's various names when it comes to log. Say Panasonic uses V-Log, Nikon uses N-Log, Sony uses S-Log. That's basically just an abbreviation. So each one of these log profiles is specific to a brand. However, the reasoning for it is exactly the same. Why wouldn't you shoot in log? If you have all of this creative freedom, what stops you from shooting in log? Why log provides you that dynamic range and the flexibility in post-production? It would take some time in order for you to master the exposure settings and color grading techniques to make your footage really stand out. From a color grading and editing perspective, going out and shooting in log, you need to have the basic idea of color grading. Obviously, taking that techniques into consideration with a little bit of practice, with a little bit of in learning editing techniques, you'll get the stunning results that you want. Starting out as a videographer, it's definitely not advised to use log until you become a lot more comfortable with color grading and color correction. But you use log when you have the luxury of time. When you know that you have the time in order for you or there's, there's a colorist that is working on the side that is going to work specifically on that, or you have the time in order for you to actually go and sit and to get it exactly the way that you want. It's best to use log when you are also in a controlled light environment. You can use it outdoors. You need to have a good understanding of light in order for you to ensure that you get the best quality footage outdoors, but it's better to have it, to utilize that in a controlled lighting environment. So you are setting the entire scene. You are setting the entire mood of the of the entire project that you're working with when you're running, when you're on a run and gun situation. Run and gun situations, it's easier to shoot with a profile that is already predetermined rather than shooting in log. When you're not comfortable with color grading, when you, when you require a quick turnaround time. I will end this with the same statement that I made at the beginning. Because your camera offers you the opportunity or that offers you the capability of shooting in log, does not mean you necessarily need to. Do you agree? Let me know.